Hello everybody, my name is Tyler and I run an Etsy store called Wentworth Vintage where I sell vintage mid-century modern in boho home decor um, and other home goods. But today the reason I'm posting this video is I recently announced on my Instagram that I now have a shoppable feed with product tags on my photos where my customers can click on a photo and automatically go to purchase the item on Etsy via a product tag. And I had a lot of fellow Etsy sellers reach out to me and ask how I managed to do that, um, given Facebook doesn't have any kind of automatic integration with Etsy. Um, so today I'm going to walk through kind of my manual process for uploading uh, your products to Facebook, which will then allow you to tag your Etsy products on Instagram. So let's get started. The first thing you'll want to do is actually log in to your Facebook account via a business manager account. So if you haven't set up a business manager, which is different than a business page, you'll want to go to business.facebook.com. And then you'll either want to log into your business manager if you already have a business manager, or you'll want to create an account. And essentially what you do once you've created your account, you link it to your business page, which then allows you to link your Instagram to your business manager. So I'm just gonna log in to my business manager account for Wentworth Vintage. And the business manager homepage looks like this. So when you set up your business manager account, you'll get a request here or a notification here at the top to connect your business page. Um, and then also if you've run any ads through Facebook, uh, you can also link your ad accounts and it basically just centralizes everything into one hub. Um, and it gives you more features for uploading products and creating custom audiences and all those other kind of Facebook advertising capabilities. Um, one thing you might run into when you're setting up your business manager is that if you're trying to connect your uh, Facebook business page to your business manager, manager, it might give you an error saying that um, the Instagram tied to your business page has already been linked or claimed. And essentially, it, it'll give you a little bit of instruction when that prompt comes up. But what you might have to do is switch your Instagram from a business profile to a personal profile if you already have it set up as a business profile. And then you'll go into Business Manager here and link the Instagram, and then you'll have to go back to Instagram and switch it from a personal account to a business account again. And one kind of disadvantage to that that I'll call out is that you'll lose a lot of the analytics associated with your uh, Instagram business page, uh, but essentially they'll just reset and start back um, at zero. So just something there if you're running into issues connecting your Instagram to your Facebook business manager. So once you have your business manager account set up, uh, what you'll do here is go to the top left corner, click business manager, hover over this all tools call out at the bottom, and then your products live within assets and catalogs. So you'll click here on catalogs and it should open up uh, your existing catalogs, which you probably don't have any. I have a lot of test accounts here because I was testing this manual process quite a bit this week. Um, but essentially, you probably won't have any catalogs. And what you'll want to do is click Create Catalog. For most of us who are Etsy sellers, we're most likely selling products online, not travel, real estate, or auto. So you'll click e-commerce here. Uh, again, if you happen to already have like a Shopify website, this is much easier. So I would just recommend clicking this Shopify option. Uh, but we're talking about Etsy today. Here you'll select the catalog owner, which I'll select my business page, Wentworth Vintage, which again, um, I was testing this a lot this week and I have a couple like test accounts here, but you'll see the Instagram, your Instagram name right here. Um, and then you'll want to name your catalog. So I'll just call this Etsy test catalog. And then I click create. And then you go to view catalog. And this is when you can start to actually upload your products. So you'll come to this page. We're in the Etsy test catalogs uh, catalog. 
And then here you can also see where your other catalogs live. So then what you'll want to do is go to products and then you can start to add products to your catalog. This is where the exciting stuff comes in. So um, the way that products are uploaded, uh, that I upload my Etsy products to Facebook is through a CSV file. CSV is just essentially an Excel file with all the formatting and extra kind of elaborate data stripped down. So it's just a basically like a text only file. But what you'll want to do as you're getting started here is download the CSV template. Um, this will give you kind of the template you need to essentially input all your product information and then upload to Facebook. So this is what the template looks like. It gives you up here a kind of description of each field. The second row is the actual field title. And then the third is a, a sample uh, item that they've already input for you. So what I usually do is uh, look at these required fields. So you'll have a required ID for the item, a required title, required short description, required availability of the item, required condition of the item, and the cost for the item, as well as a required URL for the website where you can buy the item and a required URL for the image and then required uh, brand name for the product. So what I would do is essentially get rid of all these columns that are optional, but you can read through them and see if any of them apply to your Etsy items. I just wanted to essentially make as little manual work as possible for me. So I said, screw the optional stuff and focus on the required stuff. So then what I'll do is look at the sample um, fields that they've already populated. So for a product ID, this is honestly use your own discretion. You can make up whatever. I ended up just starting with 1001 and then my next item was 1002 and so on. Um, here I'm actually going to switch over to my file. So here for ID I put 1000, 1001, 1002. Title, essentially what I do is just copy and paste the title I have on my product from Etsy and put it into this field. Same thing with description. This is the exact same description I have on Etsy that I've copy and pasted into this field in the CSV file. Availability. When you reference the uh, template, it'll give you what your options are. So you can either have your product in stock, available for order, pre-order, out of stock, or discontinued. So what you'll want to do is for an item that you're trying to sell actively, you obviously want it to be in stock. Since I sell vintage, I put everything as used. The other, few, the other uh, conditions you can put in here are new, refurbished, and used. Again, that's uh, referencing the template. And then you put the price in. You have to use a certain format. They call it ISO 4217 standards. Not sure what that means, but the template gave me the 999 USD format. So I essentially just use that for my products. So $30 USD, $25 USD. Um, the next is the link to the actual listing on Etsy where you can purchase my product. Um, so make sure it's the, the list, it, it goes directly to the listing. And then image link, um, here I can switch back to my actual Etsy page. So the way you can get an image link is going to one of your listings and using whatever photo you like, I mean, ideally, probably your, your first photo here, and you'll right click on it and then click copy image address. And what that does is it um, copies the uh, web link to the image file itself and you'll put it into this field. It should end with .j. PG, so like a JPEG photo. Um, so just put that in there and you should be good to go. Or if you'd like to use a maybe a higher res image or a different image, you'll just want to make sure that it ends in an image file. You can upload it to like Imager or Dropbox or something like that. And then here you'll put the brand of the product. I just put my Etsy page name in there. Um, use your own discretion again. And then also something uh, that was recommended to me was including this Google product category field. 
Uh, this isn't a required field, but it does help boost SEO relevancy of your product. So the ID um, in this first row that you'll want to put in is Google underscore product underscore category. And then I have all mine sorted under uh, home and garden and decor. So this is actually from Google's taxonomy of how they sort products. So the way you can kind of figure out where your Etsy products might fall in is essentially just Google, like Google product taxonomy. And then I think I went to this first one actually. Yep, and I just went through this huge long list of different products. Um, and I went down to home and garden. I think that's what it, the field was. Here we go, come on. Home and garden and then decor. You could even get more specific if you sell clocks or if you sell figurines, but I just set everything into home uh, and garden decor. But essentially just copy and paste this plain text taxonomy into your template. Um, and then what you'll do is you'll essentially repeat that for every item you have um, and put that into this CSV file and then you want to file, save it. Uh, you can save it to your desktop, but just make sure it's being saved as a CSV file. So then what you'll do is you go back to Facebook and you should have this data sources tab still filled up. Um, but what you'll need to do is click this upload once button and then upload the file from your desktop and then It'll give you, it'll load the file and then give you like a green check mark once it's uploaded. If, you, if you're running into issues uploading it, I would actually end up using this feed debugger. I used this once because um, it wasn't uploading my products and I wasn't sure why. So essentially what you do is you just copy and, oh, let me go back to mine. You just copy and paste all your fields into this box and then click validate and it'll tell you where there's issues. But we'll go back to here. So you'll upload your file and then just choose a name for your feed. And this is the feed that's going to stay consistent for the rest of time. So um, you'll just want to call it, you know, my Etsy products. And then if you're in the U.S., select U.S. dollars or whatever currency you're working with and then click start upload. And it'll take a few minutes to run through kind of the upload process. But once it's complete, um, you'll be able to go to let me go to mine. So this is my like actual catalog with all my Etsy products. So you'll be able to go to products here and see all the products it uploaded. And then um, here I'll switch over to my Instagram account. When you actually log into Instagram now, you'll be able to see this catalog within your settings as an option to tag your products with. Um, so you'll just want to select the catalog and then you can begin tagging products when you're uploading images to Instagram. Um, and then if you need to add more products or if one of your products sells out and you want to change the availability to out of stock like I've done right here, essentially what you do is need to upload a new data file. So you'll want to manually go into your data file and update whatever field. So if you've changed the price, you'll have to change the price. If, you, if it's sold out, you'll change the availability. Um, Facebook's not going to automatically know if you've changed the price or automatically know if the item sold out. You have to tell it via the CSV file what's changed. Um, so to do an update to your products or to add new products, you'll want to go to data sources here and it'll show the, um, your data file, essentially the CSV you uploaded and it gives you a history of when you've uploaded products. So if it's time for a new, uh, new update, you click upload now right here and then you scroll down to file upload and you'd essentially upload your new data file. Um, I recommend uh, making sure this is not toggled, the update only. Um, I've had issues with it updating availability of the product and price when I click update only, because it's only gonna be looking uh, for products that aren't in the current feed. So I would just make sure that's not toggled, but essentially you upload the file, click replace, and then once you go back to products, 
um, whatever information you've updated or new products you've added should be updated here. And that's essentially it. Um, just a reminder that if you do change the price of your item or the title of your, pro your item or the description, you have to update it within the CSV file and upload the new CSV file before it's gonna be reflected on Facebook or Instagram. Um, there is a no way, uh, there's no option right now to have your Etsy listings automatically sync with um, your products here. So um, I hope this was helpful for everyone. If you have any more questions, um, I'd really appreciate it if you uh, liked and favorited my Etsy store. And then also you can reach me on Instagram. Uh, my username there is at Tyler underscore Wentworth. Thank you.